What is going on people? Welcome back to the channel guys. So what I have here on my shoulders is a 25 pound block of Buck Bourbon 101 Mineral Lick. Now I picked this up from my local Walmart for $20. It was $19.99. So you know after taxes around that $20, $21 mark. But this thing is super heavy. It was a, it was a chore walking it all the way down the hill all the way out here to my pipeline clearing hunting spot. Now as you can see behind me right there we do have the ground bind sled up so we have a clear shot all the way up the clearing now we have finally refilled the battery and the corn and the feeder right here so that's starting to go off around what is it six o'clock in the morning and then about four o'clock in the afternoon to try to bring them deer back around now we haven't had any deer uh on camera here in about two weeks which is very very strange uh we had that cold front come through like like two weeks ago yeah and then we had them out here and then after that they just completely vanished nothing on any of the cameras at the creek out here at the clearing nothing like that so hopefully something as awesome smelling as this buck bourbon right here can bring them back to this location so fingers crossed on that but anyway guys let's get back into this product of the day this is the 110 proof buck bourbon attractant 25 pounds if you don't believe me take a look for yourself 25 pounds right there this thing is heavy but uh crude protein 14 percent you got your crude fat at five percent so everything a growing deer needs to get fat and healthy for this upcoming winter so anyway guys we're gonna put this right out here next to this feeder right here uh yeah, I think that's going to be the best spot. Now, let's give it the good old-fashioned sniff. Well, I really don't need to. I can smell it kind of from here through the plastic. Hold on, let me, let me make a hole real quick. Where is it? There it is. Knife key. Key knife, whatever you want to call it. Key knife. There we go. Okay. Got it. All right. So I got it open. Oh, wow. That smells like just like maple syrup. Oh man, that's gonna attract everything for miles. I, the reason I wanted to get a mineral block instead of like some feed and stuff like that is because that stuff's been attracting hogs here lately. And I just don't want any more hogs out here. They're, they're just tearing stuff up. They're nuisance animals. I'm not hunting for hogs. I'm hunting for white-tailed deer. So that's another reason why I want to get this block. So there it is. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That looks delicious. So I'm going to put it... Let me bring it down. So I'm going to put it probably about right... Yeah. Right there. I got it all over my shirt. But, uh, yeah. Right there. Fancy side up. Get a little corn going. Only downfall of these feeders, sometimes the corn does get stuck when it's not enough. All right, got some corn out. We got the block out. We're looking good. We're looking good. All right. So we're here looking at the block. Yes, looking very, very good. There we go. Get that cinematic flow to it. Oh yeah. Woo! Yee! Sheesh! All right. So we got the block down right there. Right over here, we have our Spy Link Micro LTE right here. Post up right there. Oh man, gum it, get, it gets dark in the shade. Woo, yeah, but yeah, there's the Spy Link Micro LT looking right there at the block. So that is set up and good to go. Now, usually I do these videos with multiple, multiple baits, but that crap's expensive, okay? It's $20 for one. That was my budget for the week. So we're just doing one. So we're gonna see how well the Buck Bourbon 101 25 pound mineral block is going to do out here and see if it can bring deer that have been gone for more than two weeks back to the area now if that now if this bait can do that guys that should make you a believer just saying just saying because it definitely will make me a believer but anyway guys i will see y'all in five to seven days like we always do and the good lord willing we got some big old bucks back out here ready for deer season rifle season starts in a week 
Saturday. Can't wait. Yes. Anyway, see you in five days. Bye-bye. All right, y'all. So it's officially been seven days since we put out that Buck Berman mineral block lick. And I'm going to be honest with you. We don't have a whole lot of pictures, especially a whole lot of pictures of deer. But we do have a few deer on here. So that is good. Our whole point was to try to see if this mineral block could bring back the bucks or the doe or just any deer in general back to the area since all the hogs have been coming out there with every other bait that we've thrown out there. So we really set this out to see if we can bring the deers back. So after just previewing a few of the photos, I'm going to say we went ahead and did that. So let's go ahead and uh, roll the clips real quick for y'all. Here is the first one and it is a deer. Uh, good looking deer. I can't really tell if it's a buck or a doe because of the branches in the back, but <clears throat> you can definitely see the mineral bark right there and he's right behind it. So it definitely did its job. And then the next one, we have a whole bunch of crows. The crows were everywhere all over this. They were going up there and picking the corn off of it and tearing it apart. So we have a whole bunch of crows, more crows. Yeah, these crows get pretty big out there. Look, look, yeah, just a gang of three of them just sitting there, just going to town on it. They just t picked it apart. So between the crows and the rain, it's probably down to half the size. So here we have a family of raccoons. Uh, don't know if they were, you know, chowing down on the buck bourbon, but probably did, probably did. See, now here is a really good one. This is a definitely a good buck. Now, is it bushwhacker? I have no idea. It's not really a good angle to really tell uh, based on the antlers on this guy. It's not. It looks like it to be a younger buck. Just probably scouting the area. 11.03, rut time. And the weird thing is all the bucks we have on video <clears throat> are all at night. They have not switched to daytime yet. Even with the rut going on, it is uh, November 12th right now and uh, nothing. Which is very, very strange. Very strange. All right, so moving on to the very final one. <clears throat> and of course, it's more crows. So as you can see, the buck bourbon definitely did attract some deer and a whole bunch of crows and some raccoons. But that was the whole purpose of it, is to see if we could attract deer instead of hogs. And it definitely did that. No hogs were on the camera at all, which is definitely a plus. So they start going, stop going out there and destroying the clearing. So that is definitely good. It definitely did its job. So all in all, I got to say for 20 bucks, it's not bad. It is still out there and it's going on 12 days. So not too bad. It is definitely lasting a long, long time, which is great. So for $20 lasting going on two weeks now, not too bad. So all in all, not 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 bad, not bad at all. So guys, really hope you took something out of this video. I really hope you've used this and it's done better for you than it did for me. But all in all, I think it's a great bait. I really hope you all enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below, guys. I hope you subscribe to Dark Relax so you get notified for more awesome videos like this because I have a whole bunch more videos coming out for y'all this winter. It is going to be a great time. So guys, I will catch y'all on the next one. Y'all keep it real. Peace.